Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do reflection journal by providing to you examples for better understanding. So it's going to be useful for you to go through this slide properly based on my instructions so that you can better uh, perform and do your reflection journals. We will be using Gibbs reflective cycle model for this study. There's description, the feeling, the evaluation, the analysis, and the conclusion. And from this cycle, you will try to improve on what you can do if that particular event happened again. And then we have also summarized it in a better format, uh, which we, we have the content, the analysis, the reflective thinking, the evaluation and also the feedback and we put an abbreviation which is CAREF C A R E F to better illustrate how to do reflection journal based on Gibbs reflective cycle i am providing you an example that was made by a student few years ago uh, consider this as student a and this is page 1 you can pause this video and read first the reflection journal made by this student, student A. Now you can read the second page of reflection journal made by student A. Pause the video and read. I hope you have read example from student A. Now please read example from student B and this is page number 1. This is the second page of student B reflection journal. Please pause the video to read first. Let's detail out the Gibbs reflective cycle for, ref for student A and student B that you have read just now. I have made a color coding for the subsequent slide that shows the content, the analysis, the reflective thinking, the evaluation and also the feedback. So this will make it easier for you to identify and you can compare it with what you have done. This is the example that I have actually color coded to show you the differences between content, analysis, reflective thinking, evaluation and also feedback. In this article or in this reflection journal, you can clearly see the black color the black color form is showing the content in this case let's let me just read during the first seminar it was led by four lecturers which is professor doctor professor doctor and so on the student have added a brief analysis i was surprised and then he continued at first I was uncomfortable to the new teaching methods used by the lectures because I don't think that speeches and motivation talks will help us to gain knowledge and new thoughts and ideas. So the student have actually uh, analyzed about this. So you can see the differences between the content and also the analysis. And then the student make a reflective thinking after that but okay but after listening to the speech overview and expectation of chemical engineering program given by dr hajar binti alias i realized that this seminar is important for chemical engineering students so the student have actually made a reflective thinking and realized that this seminar is important for chemical engineering students subsequently the student has made an evaluation which I depict in the which I highlighted in the purple color font and I also underlined it so the student evaluated and mentioned this seminar helped me to understand more about chemical engineering by highlighting the learning outcome the objective seminar system and UTM and basic information about chemical engineering so this is very important for you to identify which is the content and which is the uh, analysis, which is the reflective thinking, the evaluation, and also the feedback. However, in this example, 
there is no feedback being mentioned. Feedback is something that you need to say or you need to commit, you need to have the intention to improve in future. So the basic keyword, the indication is in future. However, in this article or in this reflection journal, uh, the student did not show about the feedback. Here's the continuity of students A reflection journal in page number two. You can pause this video to properly and carefully read and identify which is the content, which is the analysis, which is the reflective thinking, and so on. Pause this video and try to understand. Now I'm showing student B example, and this is student B example for page number one. We can see that there are a lot of content, which is in black color font, and then in the first paragraph, you can see that there's some analysis being made by the student. In the second paragraph, there's still a lot of content, and then some analysis made by the students. You can pause this video to properly read. And then here, the student have made a little bit of reflection or reflective thinking that states, this is crucial for an engineer. And when we go to the final paragraph, we can see that there are a mix of uh, content, the analysis, and also the reflective thinking. Have a look. This is the example made by student B just now, the continuity for page number two. For the first paragraph, we can see there's still a lot of uh, content. And then here, this is a very good example because we have a combination of content in the same paragraph, the analysis. Uh, the student did manage to make a reflective analysis, or sorry, a reflective thinking. And the student made an evaluation, the purple color underlined. And finally, we can see that the student made a feedback. So the feedback made by student mentioned it. And I am now more determined to make the next presentation more successful. So he has the element that he wants to improve something in future. He will commit on doing something good in future to improve what he have done before. So that's feedback. And then you can also go through this paragraph, the third paragraph and also fourth paragraph, which also contains the content, analysis, uh, reflective thinking, uh, evaluation. But on, in overall, this uh, page two from student B clearly shows uh, a very good way of doing a reflection journal. I hope you have become clearer on how to do reflection journal. But if you are not clear yet, let me give you another example. This is an example that I always share with my students before. I illustrated another example and in this example, I put I, I will cover the content, analysis, reflective thinking, evaluation, and feedback. Same like before. But in this case, I give another context. Right? The student, let's say student student C. Student C came to class uh, late by 20 minutes in the morning, almost had an accident on the way to the class. So the student did manage to do an analysis when he arrived to the class, to when he arrived to his class. So he analyzed himself and he realized that because he reached the class 20 minutes late, he misses critical knowledge content. He has realized that he also interrupted the class and he did not brought his calculator. He forgot to bring his calculator because he was in rush. And then from the analysis, he did a reflective thinking. So he stated to himself that I should not repeat this. If I keep on doing this, I will miss crucial knowledge from the class. I have also upset my lecturer and this is not good. So he has managed to do a reflective thinking and realize that what he has done is not good. Following from that, he made an evaluation. He said, I realized that I was late because I have played online game until 5 a.m few hours before and I became very sleepy that I could not wake up early. 
So this is basically the evaluation part and he mentioned that he actually played online games until very late at night. In fact, it's already in the morning and in a few, few hours time, two, three hours time, he should be in class. And then he provided a feedback. Okay, the feedback. I will not let online game affect me in such a way. If I want to play game, I will limit it to only 30 minutes per day. So this is what he has said to himself. He made a promise. He pledged to himself that he will only play 30 minutes per day in order to improve his situation. And then he said, I must focus on my study, my health, have sufficient sleep. And then to overcome my craving for games, I will only play games during weekend only after I have completed my assignments and revision. Can you better imagine how to write a reflection journal after looking at this example? So I hope you can get it and you can write a good reflection journal after this. Well, we finally reached to the end of the video. I hope you have better comprehension on how to write a good reflection journal after this. If you have any question, please consult your industrial seminar and profession lecturer or you can also jot down, put down your question at the comment section below. Till then, best of luck to you. Bye.